this is the ninth inning for humanity, and so whether or not en masse humans around the world are going to make this recovery decision in time, um, I don't know the answer to that. I hope so, because I wish the best for everybody. Why to focus on hemp and a return to a regenerative biomaterials era is this goat. So I'm a goat herder. This is why it's in the shape of a goat, but this is compostable composite, basically plastic, that is partly made from US grown hemp, um, mixed with a corn binder into a 3D printer coil and, and printed it. So visualize, besides the decline of the Pacific garbage patch, visualize no petrochemicals needing to go into our industrial materials and also our industrial components being grown regionally. I was lucky enough to have done some hemp research work in Hawaii and hope to do more in the future. And while I was there, what you realize immediately when you spend real time in Hawaii is it's so far from anything, both Asia and the mainland US. And imagine if instead of when a fuel filter goes out, instead of shipping in some petrochemical part that should cost 32 cents shipped with diesel freighters halfway across the world, if you are processing hemp or other biomaterials and printing them out, and this is a, a kind of plastic called PLA, it's really, really strong. You can do it in different, um, you can do it with different compositions. You know, when you talk to materials engineers about where like more, more quickly compostable, let's say um, um, plastic ware for, if you have a picnic, you wanna be able to like throw that out and it'll be compostable, something like that. Um, so this, this is why to pay attention to the biomaterials era because we're going to say goodbye Pacific Garbage Patch and make sure that we have a planet for all of our grandkids. Well, I'm thinking about, okay, well, how are we going to survive if humanity doesn't figure it out on a large scale in time? And I um, am not rooting for that, and I am not predicting that. I love our society so much. How awesome that I could live in this beautiful remote pa place with solar panels on the roof and be watching, streaming, like any music that I want from anywhere in the world, from any period, like there's wonderful things about our era, right? So this is not a prediction or um, this is not trying to, to uh, suggest that any likelihood of this. We're having fun along the way, learning step by step how we might survive if we have to survive. <laughs> how do we regulate hemp in the future? So this is something that I've been thinking a lot about. Why is it theoretically legal for someone in a state like New Mexico to grow 12 ganja plants with no paperwork at all for free, but pay $700, bless you, but pay $700 for a hemp permit? Like, so these very, these are the issues, these are the things I'm thinking about. Um, moving the hemp definition to 1% is a really, really important thing. Um, we're at 0.3 federally right now, it has to change. Bless you, bless you. And, um, so the reason for that is too many tests are testing hot. It's ridiculous to test it at all. The end game is no more federal THC um, influence at all. States can decide at a THC level above which it would be marketed as medicinal or adult social. Other thing I've been thinking about a lot since our last interview is um, food security in general. And hemp is a superfood. So primarily I've been growing um, my own home crop developing a, uh, a, a tri-crop seed fiber flower um, that's also been used in a, radiation, uh, in a remediation of soil cleanup studies successfully. So I'm trying to develop this like the whole package on the genetics, but I'm really focusing on the food side. So my own home crop, um, I do the seed development, but we also eat a lot of the harvest. Hemp, as we know, is a superfood, incredible superfood, high in protein. Um, high in gamma linoleic acid, or GLA, which is associated with anti-inflammatory uh, properties. High in minerals. It's just a great, it's a great food. I've already eaten it today. Have you? So it's always great. I'm really a big, big fan of honeysuckle, and have been uh, a supporter since the beginning. The design is so beautiful. The topics are brave. I and the hemp based goat really approve. Um, if folks want to um, learn more about my work, all of my books and audiobooks are at my website, dougfine.com. Also there. I teach an online regenerative hemp course where you can click on registration links um, for that. Take it at your own pace and get a hemp completion certificate um, at the end. And social media, I am at Organic Cowboy on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for having me. Yeah.